A full-page special report in a leading newspaper outlines the concerns and hopes of a primary school student in South Sudan. The report is written by 15-year-old Mary Laku, who shares her hopes and dreams for a better future in the conflict-affected country with 400 fellow students at an event held on World Children's Day. Mary urges parents to send all their children to school, including their daughters, because education is key to a brighter future. Since I'm a girl and living in a challenging environment where my education is not being valued by my parents, boys and men, forced and early marriage has always been the factor to girls drop out of school. Please, let us stop forced and early marriage and instead focus on education. Mary is passionate about learning and wants her ability to reach her full potential protected. The government should impose laws protecting girls from false and early marriage and have gender equality. I want you to succeed and to become a doctor because that's your head. You want to become a doctor. Mary was speaking at an event organized by the United Nations Mission in South Sudan in collaboration with UNICEF to help young people better understand the work it is doing to protect civilians and build durable peace. As part of the event, students who were invited to submit ACEs about the peacekeeping mission were awarded. In his speech, the Health and Environment Minister, Dr. Felix Ladu, said he wanted girls like Mary to succeed in life and highlighted existing laws preventing early marriage. I want to also tell you here that the government actually has a law that has been passed by the assembly for you to guide the children, to guide the school children. There are laws that if a teacher marries a school girl, that teacher must be jailed. If the parents also encourage these early marriages, I think they are going to be dead. So don't get scared. And that is number one. Before awarding medals and trophies to the winning AC writers, the minister told the students that they are the future of the country. He promised peace and economic development. AC writer Adla Ruben welcomes the work of the UN in South Sudan. Many of my people down there, they cannot, they don't want to, it's like they're undermining the works done by the United Nations. So it, I felt good if I am to write and explain for them the things that the United Nations did and fortunately resulted in positive impacts. For example, I tackled issues dealing with peace. I want somebody to tell me when did Unmis came or when did Unmis come to South Sudan. At the event, UNMIS personnel spoke about the mission's mandate and tested the knowledge of the students through a question and answer segment. So our hopes are that through this essay writing, through this essay competition, the children will grow up developing a spirit of living together in harmony, in a peaceful environment, and they will continue with their what with their different activities in regards to being a medical personnel, in regards to being an engineer. At the end of the day, they will have that aspiration of having a peaceful environment, a peaceful country, through what they have learned from the essay that we have given to them. Three schools won trophies and medals for their essay contributions, but all those who entered the competition expressed the same hope that, despite the many challenges they face in the conflict-affected country, they will achieve their dreams.